I'm Chris Robinson. Uh, I'm the Greenkeeper Seminary Retire. We've got a team of four doing the green here now. We're based in Stafford. This is Stafford Bowling Club. It's been around about 120 years. The green size is uh, 0.124 uh, of a hectare, which you obviously need to know if you're putting um, chemicals, etc., onto the green. We cut the green three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, we go through, we have been going through the last couple of years through to the end of October, which is contrary to what many people would recommend, saying that you really need to shut the green in October to do deep scarification, um, top dressing and reseeding. Um, for the last five years, I haven't done any of that. Um, we haven't put any chemicals on this green at all. We've gone back to probably the uh, tradition before the agricultural revolution where they didn't have chemicals, fertilizer, that sort of thing. And we're using seaweed extracts um, and sugars uh, on the green to get the uh, natural biology of the soils regenerated, so to speak. Up till four years ago, we were having to spend 800 to 1,000 pound a year on fusarium control. We stopped doing all of that. We took the risk. We haven't done any fusarium control for the last five years. Um, and you've only got to look at the green to see the condition of it. I think one of the most important things we do here uh, every month is to um, aerate down to five inch with, with a Valentine aerator. Um, once a month, I get the oxygen down into the roots. Uh, every um, month, we, well, we've got a, a, a rotor on here of the various um, sugars and biomasses we're using on the soil. But we're also using um, the uh, treatment for dry patch so we don't get the dry patch in the soil. Uh, we do benefit here, but probably about, I don't know, 10 years ago now, we put in a, an automated watering system which can be extremely costly if you're using water, but we, at the time we went for a grant uh, and we were fortunate that we got a grant to include a borehole as well. So we've got our own borehole on site, water's not costing a thing. So we have the thing operating uh, when the conditions uh, dictate it. It comes on at one o'clock in the morning. Um, currently we've got it set for a uh, 14 minute uh, rotation on each of the four sprinklers around the green, but I have uh, dropped that back to 80% of that at the moment. Um, and we just monitor it depending on the weather conditions. We also benefit, as you see, from uh, a lighting system here, which again we got grant aid for, uh, which uh, obviously helps. The whole club is run by a team of volunteers, uh, whether it's inside the club or outside the club. So we've been using the new battery powered mower uh, on trial here for nearly two years now, I think. But I've, I've really liked the electric mower. I've got no problem with it at all. Um, one battery uh, has lasted us for the, uh, the, the whole of cutting this green uh, in one go. If you go and put the scarifiers on, um, then it, a little bit more energy is taken and you probably need a second battery as a backup there. Very, very quiet. Um, very, very easy to use. It's got an electrical speed control, so you can adjust it to your own walking pace. You've got, um, I suppose, throttle controls on either side, so you're not getting a hand, hand ache, so to speak. You can change your hand as, as often as you like in that respect. Um, and obviously, if you're a club that uh, hasn't got a lot of money, then it's a very good option because it's two, two, two and a half thousand pounds cheaper than the uh, the big professional mowers. Uh, I mean, uh, obviously the, the electric mower is, is a lighter machine. I believe it's made out of uh, uh, plastics rather than the metal of the heavy machine. So everything is lighter in that respect. So there are, uh, there are advantages there. Um, I think I have to say, if, if you've got the money, then from a professional uh, club point of view, I'd be going for the professional mowers. But on a smaller, smaller uh, club, then, you know, there's no reason why you shouldn't be using the electric mower, in my opinion. Yeah, we've got um, a range of cartridges on the on the electric mowers. We've got the sorrel roller, which has got the 
the short spikes in there to get air into the uh, top part of the green. We use that every other week. And then every other week, uh, we use the, well, I say, we, we, we use the vertical, we were using the verticutter, but at the moment, the green has got such fine grass on it, you're not getting any lateral growth. So we really monitor that. So we start getting lateral growth, we use the verticutter. Um, the aeration, we, I think I've said before, we're doing once a month. Um, and that is one of the most important jobs uh, for, the, for the green. Without that, you're just not getting the root penetration down into the, into the soil.